Hey loves, Brie here. As of right now, October of 2022, I am seven and a half years into topical steroid withdrawal. It feels a bit wild to say that, but I'm a long hauler. Some of us are able to get through quicker than others. It's just the facts of life. I am also one month into using Dupixent. It's a biologic drug that was FDA approved for eczema patients. I will do an update video in November on my Dupixent journey. But for now, being a seasoned veteran, I wanted to share four tips with you on how to change your TSW journey from excruciating to encouraging. Whether you're new to this community or you've been forging through for a while, I hope these help. So let's dive in. My first tip is connection. It is really easy to feel alone in this, and it's easy to forget that there are thousands of others around the world who are facing the same trials and hardships that you are. Reach out and connect with them. Make a post to see if a handful of people want to create a group and stay in contact. Make a WhatsApp group chat. Check in daily, sending silly memes or encouraging quotes. Do FaceTime calls once a week. You name it, any bit of connection through this can save a life. My second tip is journaling. Our thoughts are powerful. They can destroy us from the inside out just like any other drug can. Thoughts are actually drugs. They can change us on a chemical, cellular level. And if we let the negative take over, it will. It can eat at our healing. I know, I deal with anxiety on a daily basis, sometimes so debilitating that I cannot concentrate on anything else. But by writing out my thoughts, I am able to be more conscious of what I'm saying to myself. Our inner dialogue should be intentional. By shaking off that weight onto a paper, it can help us get clarity and even alleviate some of that stress that we may be putting on our loved ones and our caregivers. You can even use a journal as a way to keep track of your goals and to help you create that better mindset. If you have never journaled before, don't fear. There are no set rules. You can write about whatever comes to your mind or you could do a guided journal. Either way, the process of conveying your thoughts to paper is a healing tool. My third tip is to learn something. There is no time like the present to pick up a new skill or trade. If you find yourself stuck at home, unable to work in the career that you are in, use that time to your advantage. You can take a copywriting course. You can make videos or learn how to edit. You can pick up a new language or an instrument. You can study all the DIY hacks for your home. Level up. YouTube University has got you covered. Don't just numb the pain. Use it, channel it. Find something that gives you purpose for your day. My fourth and final tip is movement. Now, I know that not everyone can do this, but for the most part, everyone can move their body in some capacity. Being stagnant is horrible for our muscles and our joints. It's even horrible for your mental health as well. Ever watch Legally Blonde? Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. If all you can do is walk around your home, do it. Set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes and just walk. Stretch. And if you're stuck in bed, you can still participate. Our lymph nodes need movement to properly drain. My lymph nodes used to be the size of grapes. They were swollen in my neck, my underarms, my groin area. Massage them for a few minutes each day. It can make a huge difference after a while. So there you have it, lovies. To recap, my four tips are make a connection, start journaling, learn something new, and get yourself moving. Even doing just one of these things can help shift your perspective during this withdrawal time, and it can help with the healing process. Don't give up hope. You matter. You count. I love you all. Take care until next time.